La cucaracha, la cucaracha. To provide the most authentic Mexican experience possible, we have chosen to read up this entire episode in a badly imitated accent. Just for you. Alright, Jack, why did I need to come over this time? Because it's Cinco de Mayo, and I want to play with your maracas. Well, it's a good thing I brought these in. I'm Jack Derringer, and welcome to the second episode of Cooking with Jack Derringer. This episode is Cinco de Mayo, and uh, you, Sherry Bomb, need a mustache because it's Cinco de Mayo. And we all have to have mustaches. But first, another shot because that's tradition. Uh, uh, uh. I don't know, but this lime and salt shit is for pussy. Damn straight! Alright, here we go. Ready? Mm-hmm. Hey! Lime and salt is for pussies. Drink it straight. You will eat beef. You will eat short onions. Tortilla chips, says teats, refried beans, hot sauce, hot sauce, assorted cheeses, sliced jalapenos, the fresher the better, bacon, hot sauce, oh yeah, taco seasoning. First, you must apply heat to your meat. Sensual, deep heat. To provide a little lubrication, some hot sauce may be necessary. Some more hot sauce would be even more necessary. Add one half of a chopped onion, finely chopped with love and care. And more hot sauce. Add water, a loving amount of alcohol, if you could classify Corona as alcohol, and one spicy Mexican taco seasoning packet. For additional flair and excitement, add yet another spicy Mexican taco seasoning packet. Ready, you AC? Stir tenderly. And a bit more sauce. Then you must begin to sensually spread your refried beans in your casserole dish as a lover would massage oil on your shoulders after a long day. Remember anything that looks like the can it came out of? Probably not that great for you. Are you feeling relaxed yet? And for a little, shall we say, experimentation? Nothing says Mexican flavor like a little hot ass. They are done a cozy bed of tortilla chips upon the hot ass sauce. I hate crumb in the bed. You know you're really starting to cramp my style. is ready, you must prepare to unleash your meat. Hey, speaking of which, man, uh, where is El Baño? I am not liking you so much. You should go away. (laughs) 
Apply copious amounts of cheese for maximum stickiness. The more kinds of cheese you add, the spicier it will be. Variety is the spice of sex. Life, life. For additional heat, a layer of sliced jalapenos. Lay tenderly over your layer of cheese. And just a little more of that sauce, this time with bacon. Gently slide the wedges of tortilla in, gently and slowly at first, but moving a little quicker as we get used to it and eventually just going all out. And this, of course, you've done this a few times before, in which case, yay! Yeah. Another layer of cheese. After all, variety is the sex of spice or something to that effect, I don't know. There's always room for more. Hey, that's what she said, man! Preheat your oven and, uh, have a drink. Alcohol always makes things more interesting as things begin to heat up. Remember the Alamo. It's Cinco de Mayo, Jack. We won the Alamo. Who cares? When things have gotten properly heated, remove from the oven and prepare for ecstasy. Dude, I don't rule no more. You're a mess, Jack. <laughs> Leave the little frogs! <laughs> I don't know what the fuck he's talking about at this point. Dude's blaze, man! For just a little more spice and flavor. Hey, I was peeking in my neighbor's window watching you get dressed and you smelled some really good cheese. What kind of cheese is that? That's nacho cheese! Oh, I'll get some of that. <laughs> This is a BYOMM affair. Bring your own Mexican mustache. Here, here's one of mine. Hey. All right, be right back. How's this? That's perfect, man.
Here we go. This is the official taste test of what we made. I think I ate my mustache. But that's that is good. really, really good. Not really as good. Oh, you gotta taste this. Don't Seriously. eat your mustache. Are but you it's looking good. at me? Yeah. I lost my mustache. Here, I don't care. Get okay. in here. Yeah, you can have one of mine. Here. I spilled <laughs> my sombrero, and that's what's important. I'll share. Here. This is gonna put me in the hospital. Just don't no. don't get the. It's okay, really good. I will accept your generous gift of a mustache. Okay. Ew, it's all sweaty. That's Ew. okay. <laughs> that's not I should sweat. add, I'm also kind of dry. That's he made. Wait, are we eating off this? Just get in, just get in some. I don't Oops. like beans, uh, and I got a bite with pepper. Uh, this is really like falling good. apart. I have. Can I just eat the chips? No. I'm going through anyway. Mm. It's only right now that I'm wearing buzz of sweat. Mm. Isn't that really good? I will never want you like this again. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what am I saying? Ooh. This is freaking amazing. Oh, this is great. Thank you for watching this episode of Cooking with Jack Derringer. Uh, this episode is brought to you by Jumex. And the Mexican fruit treasure. Which we like to call Ricky Martin. <laughs> we are going to end today with some traditional Mexican cupcakes. What the hell is traditional about Mexican cupcakes? Well, they're, they're Mexican because they have these little chili kind of sticks in them. Oh. <laughs> Much tequila, Merle. Yeah. Please All don't right. puke on me. Let's eat a cupcake. <laughs> You'd like that, wouldn't you, Jack? Absolutely. At least we don't have people doing it right above our heads. <laughs> I think that's a cut. <laughs> <laughs>